Now, the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall completed their royal tour of the West Country this afternoon with a picnic on Exmoor. Hundreds joined Prince Charles and Camilla to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the law, allowing the creation of national parks. A little earlier, Camilla visited the Donkey Sanctuary, where she received a special birthday gift from some familiar names. Richard Lawrence will explain all in just a moment. First, though, Bob Cruz reports on their final day here in the West Country. Exmoor was once a royal forest. For hundreds of years, kings came here to hunt. Today, the Prince of Wales was here to celebrate the creation of our national parks 70 years ago this year. A big picnic in the Riverside Meadows at Simmons Bath with hundreds of people gathered together to pay tribute to what Exmoor and the other national parks mean to the nation. His Royal Highness joked some of the guests were showing him up with their sartorial choices. You were making me feel underdressed. <laughs> there was plenty of local produce to try, food and drink, all from the Exmoor area, and Prince Charles showed an interest in the game sausages. He tried the marmalade and pheasant one and thought it was really nice and wanted to know whether I had a, a packet underneath that he could take away with him. And so, you did, right? Well, no, but we're definitely going to send him some. After that, a cup of tea as he chatted with Exmoor Hill farmers, but Charles usually likes a spoonful of honey in his. Thankfully, he'd spied a honey stall earlier. One of his people came back and actually asked for the heather honey so he could have a spoonful of it in his tea as well, so that was kind of cool. Prince Charles has said national parks provide opportunities for us all to find peace in beauty, enhance our health and well-being and explore our links with nature. He says his visits to places like Exmoor never last long enough. He's really interested in that connection between landscape and people and farming and trying to look after our countryside, do the best we can for nature, do the best we can for beauty and encourage people to come out and enjoy it. So I think he had a lovely afternoon. It was a double celebration, not just the 70th anniversary of the National Parks, but it's the Duchess of Cornwall's birthday today, and no question who everyone was going to sing to. Happy birthday to you. Bob Cruz, ITV News, Simmons Bath.